what's going on guys it's unknown player here and today we've got for you some really really cool call of duty news and uh, this is going to be about the company that is making the call of duty that we are going to be playing and uh, hearing all of the release news about in 2014 so the news is that sledgehammer are officially announced to be working on the Call of Duty game for this year and this is actually them by themselves so they're not going to be working with Infinity Ward or with Treyarch and unfortunately this means that Treyarch aren't going to be making a game till 2015 which does kind of make me a bit sad because I would like to see another zombie game come up pretty soon and I'm a big fan of zombies and also the Black Ops series is generally one of my favorite series of COD but uh, they're also going to be making their own Call of Duty game completely left to their own devices and I'm really also excited to see what they can produce the Salazam to not see a Black Ops 3 next year or a Treyarch title. I'm really, really excited to see what Sledgehammer Games can do, and they're definitely a company you want to keep tabs on. Of course, any news and information that comes out, I'm going to keep you updated on my channel. But uh, so we know the company that's going to be making the next COD game, but now on to what the next COD game is actually going to be. So you might remember about a year ago now, I actually made a video on my channel talking about what the next COD game could be, and this was before Ghost was announced, and uh, this was discussing that Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer employee had updated his LinkedIn profile and said that he is working on the next Modern Warfare title and at the time I wasn't really confident that as this means Sledgehammer were making their own COD game and I assumed that it probably meant they're working on say a PSP title or maybe a Nintendo DS title or something like that maybe an add-on maybe the Call of Duty Online like we've seen in China or maybe like a Strike Force that we see on the mobile devices but uh, they definitely said that he was working on a Modern Warfare title and now that we know Sledgehammer Hammer are making the next COD game, I think it's very, very likely that the next Call of Duty game is going to be Modern Warfare 4. So you might also remember that Infinity Ward actually had the choice when they were making Ghost or before they were going to develop it, they had the choice to either pick up Modern Warfare 4 or make their own game, which turned into Ghost. And uh, they actually decided to just ditch Modern Warfare 4 and start to pick up their own brand new series called Call of Duty Ghost. And uh, we'll have to find out if there's going to be a COD Ghost 2. I think it's very likely, but uh, that will be in a very, very long time. And that'll be after uh, Treyarch make their game technically in 2016 before we see a Call of Duty Ghost 2. But uh, they decided to drop Modern Warfare 4 and now it seems to make sense that they might have dropped it so that Sledgehammer could pick the series up. So possibly the Call of Duty of this year could be Modern Warfare 4 and I personally would be quite looking forward to it. I thought Modern Warfare 3 was actually a really good game. It had a lot of issues but uh, it definitely wasn't perfect but I thought it was a very crazy but also fun game if you knew how to work it, what to do, what not to do, what to stay away from I thought it was a very entertaining game and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to see a Modern Warfare 4 game even more so because I'd like to see the single player on how soap and price and how the story continues whether they'll go back in time or what's going to happen after the events of Modern Warfare 3 I think the Modern Warfare series is probably the best single player series that has ever been created I absolutely love the original Modern Warfare 1, 2 and 3 story mode single player campaign I really enjoyed those so I would like to see a Modern Warfare 4 in that regard and uh, also so another benefit of Sledgehammer being added into this uh, what was a duo of Treyarch and Infinity Ward making games so it's now a trio of these three companies making games another benefit of this is that they have more time so they essentially have it another year normally these companies would have a year and a half to make their game so if you think about it from now Infinity Ward have pretty much about half and half this year they're going to be working on their new game and half and half going to be working on Call of Duty Ghost patching the game and then next year they would have the entire year to just produce the next game that they're working on but now that Sledgehammer have been added to the ranks then Treyarch are going to go next they have another year to go so each of these companies now have two and a half rough years to work on the game which means an extra year is a very very long time and hopefully we'll see a much more polished game with a lot more features and uh, I'm really looking forward to see what this is going to bring so let me know your thoughts leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think about this change in how the Activision and Call of Duty Games is going to work. Leave a like on this video if you found it informational, enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later. Jump.